Animal welfare advocates are furious with Ottawa for not doing enough to protect horses. Every year, thousands are exported to Japan for slaughter. There are calls to ban the practice, something promised by the Prime Minister more than a year ago. Until that happens, advocates want, at the very least, for the animals to be treated humanely during transport. Karen Pauls has the story. 79 horses were brought to the airport in semi-trucks under the cover of darkness, loaded into wooden crates three to four deep, then left on the tarmac to await a cargo plane and the long flight to Japan. It's awful because they're flight animals. They're not used to being handled like that. It's a very stressful time for them. They are confused. They're dealing with turbulence. They're dealing with a lot of different issues. Takeoff and landing is quite traumatic. Every year, Canada exports between three and 4,000 live horses to Japan, mostly Clydesdales and Percherons, bred specifically for human consumption as horse meat sushi. By law, the horses can only be in transport a maximum of 28 hours. But on that flight from Winnipeg to Japan in December, there was a delay taking off and a blizzard at a planned refueling stop. The exporter says a decision was made in conjunction with the Canadian Food Inspection Agency to keep going, even though that limit was going to be exceeded. We just found another airport that had the pilots and decided between everybody, let's get her done. Let's do it. We decided that for a couple hours, this was totally the best thing for the horses. Animal welfare groups filed a legal complaint with the federal government. It acknowledged the shipment exceeded the legal time limit and that three horses had fallen in their crates, but said there would be no enforcement actions. The CFIA has been uh, quite dismissive. Um, they wrote back quickly, indicating that they were not going to take enforcement action even though they acknowledge that the law was broken here. If they're not going to take action in a situation like this, when are they going to enforce the law? Advocates are upset. The Trudeau government still hasn't fulfilled a campaign promise to ban exporting of live horses for slaughter. In a statement, the minister said, we are engaging with key stakeholders to determine the best course of action to ban the live export of horses for slaughter. An NDP petition co-sponsored with Canadian musician Jan Arden is expected to be presented to the House of Commons. Our message to Canadians is that this is, this is preventable and it's stoppable. Raising horses for consumption is an industry worth tens of millions of dollars a year in Canada. Ottawa's challenge? Trying to balance the livelihood of those farmers with the well-being of the animals. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Winnipeg.